I've spent so many years and so much time fighting for so many different things to do with the presidential elephants and it's certainly made me not a favourite person with a lot of unethical, unsupportive people. I'm not good at keeping my mouth shut. So, you know, I believe that as a foreigner in this country, you have an obligation to speak out. Otherwise, what are you doing here? I think if the decree isn't signed, it will make me wonder why I bother. I often wonder why I bother, but something always happens to make me remember why I bother. It's a little boy. Hey! Hey, Courtney, you're a grandmother again. Hey, here comes your grandson, look. Overnight, Christina, who is Courtney's daughter, has had a little tiny baby. Oh, this little one can hardly walk. Oh, so tiny. Being shepherded by some of his aunties. His mother's there at the back. You can see her belly is still bulging down low. Oh, little baby. Oh. I'm very sure that when these baby elephants make an appearance in the world, they get a very big shock. They usually only have perhaps 20 or 30 minutes before they actually have to join the herd and start travelling at the pace of the herd to get to where that herd is going. Hey, little fella. I don't think I ever realised that elephants have such human-like breasts until I started working with them and was so close to them. I'm not sure I even realised that the breasts were between the front legs and not where you'd expect them to be, be between the back legs. Notice how the elephants have a hairy upper lip. It's not what most girls want, probably. <laughs> Big boobs and a hairy lip. I am known to the local people as Mother Elephant, Mung Global. I think a lot of the local people can't relate at all to this crazy white person who spends her days amongst elephants, alone in the bush, no children. I try to explain this is my family and the little elephants are my children. <laughs> Everybody says who's going to look after you when you're 90, and I always say I'm not going to live that long, so... If I stay in Zimbabwe, I probably won't live that long. Come on, little fella, go and find your mummy.